All right, in this podcast, we're going to simply be, go over the syllabus and the information that you will need in order to uh, uh, get through the course. So here we are, story of the New Testament. Um, my name, John Harrison. Uh, I don't have office hours during the summer, so you'll just need to contact me. You'll see that uh, I provide both my uh, office extension here, so uh, 405. 425-5377. I also provide my home number in case there's an emergency and you leave, need to leave a message for me. Uh, but I will let you know that uh, we don't typically answer our home line, and but if you will leave a message, uh, I'm usually notified about that message, and I'll get an email about it, and I can respond to you if you need to contact me that way. But probably the most efficient way is just to email me. So, and there's my email uh, address. So, in the syllabus, you will find uh, several of the information that we always need to have. So, the OC motto and our mission statements and teaching philosophy. Course descriptions. There are no prerequisites for this course, um, though many uh, may have taken one of our uh, other Gen Ed uh, Bible courses, such as Life of Christ or uh, the Life of the Early Church but none is required in order to successfully complete this course. You'll see a description of the course relevancy. Um, this is really why studying a course like this is important. Certainly, you'll now uh, get a, an overview of the major themes of the New Testament, and you'll, have a, uh, you'll acquire kind of a basic story about uh, God and the message of Christianity uh, by reviewing uh, the contents of these books. So you also see the course objectives, the things that you will learn, uh, as well as our uh, required texts. So you should have a uh, the book by Elwell and Yarbrough, Encountering the New Testament. Um, and so there are Kindle versions available of this that Amazon will sell, or it may be um, you find some other uh, resource. Uh, you'll see the course requirements, pretty simple. Um, there is discussion board participations that you will have for uh, each uh, unit or each model uh, module. There are also reading quizzes that will assess uh, your comprehension of the assigned readings for each unit and module. Uh, there are two what we call semester exams, uh, or there will be uh, two, two exams and then the final exam. So each exam is offered at the end of each week of the course. There's also the uh, one assignment, which is we call the New Testament story essay, which I will explain in just a minute. Plus, there's also a separate uh, podcast explaining the requirements of this course. You'll find out the reading scale. So to get an A in the course, you'll need at least a 90. To get a B, you'll need at least an 80. Uh, and so... Participation, um, what you're going to do is listen uh, to all the recorded lectures, but uh, a major way in which participation is assessed is through your uh, contributions to discussion boards. And again, I'll um, explain a little bit about what's required in those discussion board posts. There are 10 online quizzes, uh, and so you'll take these quizzes after the assigned readings. They are primarily multiple choice, you fill in the blank, true and false, something like that. And they usually cover such things as the key terms, people, and places um, in that reading. There are, as I said, the two exams covering the readings in the podcast and then a final. So the one major assignment you'll have is this uh, story essay. So when you write this essay, you will... Um, uh, tell about the basic features of the story of the New Testament. Uh, so the essay is going to show how the majority of New Testament books contributes to the distinctive elements to the story. So this essay has to be a minimum of three full pages, uh, double-spaced, typed in a 12-point font. You're going to use standard margin margins, so that is one inch, and one and a half inch, uh, one inch on the left, one and a half inch on the right. So the uh, it can't exceed five full pages. So the essay uh, should not 
quote scriptures. That is, what I'm not looking to see is large chunks of scriptures quoted. In other words, I don't want to see a student uh, trying to pad their essay with just giant chunks of scripture. I don't mind if it has short, brief quotes of passage of scripture. That's fine. But you can oftentimes reference what's in a um, in a particular book by just providing the book, the chapter, and the specific verses. And uh, what you're going to do is highlight the distinctive elements of the New Testament story in that book. Again, I'll refer you to the podcast where I go into more detail about what you're going to do in this essay. Here, just I'm highlighting that this is a major assignment for the course. And all of this will be uploaded into a Turnitin assignment, and I will grade that uh, paper th electronically. I'll also give feedback on your essay um, through the Turnitin site. So what will happen is once you see your grade come up in Grade Center, you'll just need to click on your grade, and then it'll take you to your paper, and then you should be able to see the comments that I make. I'll, I'll have a summary comment, and then I'll have individual comments throughout the paper. So this is a major assignment for the course, and so you'll want to make sure you give lots of attention to doing your best job. Now, uh, some just general policies. Uh, uh, I don't um, typically allow you to make up uh, an exam, but if there is a, a reason, something has come up, in other words, you were you know, wanting to do the exam on the weekend that it's assigned, that is from the Monday, Saturday, and Sunday, but something traumatic has happened that's going to require you to not be able to do that, uh, just email me, let me know what the circumstances are, and I'll take that under consideration. Uh, again, you should not have late work um, uh, in this. All the assignments are going to be done by the completion of each week. Um, and again, but if there is something that has happened that's been pretty traumatic, that means you couldn't have gotten it all done by the Sunday evening, again, let me know. Um, so, some other general university course policies. Of course, if there is some kind of uh, disability that you have that I need to be cognizant of um, in order to give you more time or to allow you to turn in assignments in a different way, uh, you'll need to contact Katie Robel uh, in our office uh, here at OC, and she will work with you and she will um, make sure that the disability is has been properly diagnosed and that it is on file and therefore I then need to give you those uh, accommodations. Of course, we want you to be honest. Uh, this is an important thing. Don't um, be copying other people's work. Um, I don't mind if you work together with people, but especially on the New Testament story essay, you have to submit your own work. You can't be submitting the work of others. Uh, of course, by turning it in on turnitin.com, we'll be able to assess whether or not there are issues of plagiarism. Uh, and again, I bring that issue up in the podcast. Uh, you are to email me if you have concerns or questions. I'll try to respond within a 24-hour period uh, if there's any issues. Um, but nothing is to be emailed to me. Everything's going to be done through Blackboard and um, so uh, the inclement weather policy doesn't really apply to our online course, um, but if something should happen, some kind of major catastrophe, weather catastrophe happens where you are living, and we need to take into consideration that catastrophe, a hurricane or some other unforeseen event, an earthquake, uh, something like that to happen, please again uh, try to let us know, and we'll try to make accommodations. But Typically, that's not an issue here. We do have sources of help for you. You see those links here. You'll also find those links available under Academic Resources in Blackboard. Uh, the issues of uh, harassment and demonstration particularly apply uh, with your online discussion board opportunities. Um, we, we do not uh, tolerate people who harass others uh, in discussion boards. Uh, and so I'll be monitoring your uh, contributions. And if I were to see 
any discourteous, um, any uh, foul uh, language, uh, any uh, indication that you are treating somebody uh, in a well, unchristian or in a immoral way, or that would violate our harassment or discrimination policies, I would have to address that with you. Uh, we do have people on campus who can help you uh, with any issues that might violate what we call Title IX, and those names and emails uh, and telephone numbers are listed there. We do have a counseling center uh, on campus, and if you need uh, help, uh, please reach out to there. There's also a, a, a Mercy Clinic number in case you happen to be close by to campus and um, become sick and want to um, get some um, uh, physical attention. We do have a copyright policy of 2019, and so you're not allowed to um, reproduce any of this material in, that you see in this course and to uh, share it with anybody outside, outside of the course um, without my permission. And that uh, basically takes you through the syllabus. Again, let me encourage you if you have any questions to let me know.